This video was taken at the Southern Tier Concrete Products Company in Alfred, New York. Of course, this is a molding of a 10-inch NRG ICMU. The excess crumbs are due to the conversion of a metric mold to an imperial size. We had no problem with this or any other mold run at the five molding sites with the NRG molds. Note that this uh, unit is solid in the middle so that it can be split into two split-faced ICMUs. The following day, we were preparing to stuff and split the units. The inserts are hand placed into the ICMU, much like the core fold CMUs are. After the insert press, the unit goes to the splitter. The owner of Southern Interior, Mr. Ben Palmer, had some concern about the splitting of this unit. He later commented, he never had a block, a block split any better. We ran 9,000 units on this run and never lost a unit due to a poor split. Some have questioned the ability of the EPS insulation to hold both sides together. As you will see, the concern is unfounded. I want to show you, this is the finished block. Look at that photograph. You see how it's tight in there? There is no movement whatsoever. This is the split. This is the unit on the back side. This is just holding by the foam insert by itself. This is at the job site. Uh, the NRG ICMU is being unloaded. Uh, the units were both split and colored. Masons uh, lay the insulated wall under a tent of clear plastic. Some days on this job, the temperature was zero or below. No fear of ordered insulation not being in the wall with this unit. As you will see, if later a window or a door needs to be cut into the wall, the insulation stays where it is. About 7,500 units were used in this building. And this is how our firewall test was done. This is an 8-inch unit, and it's being exposed to the flames for two hours. As we pick up here, the wall has been exposed, as I said before, to the flames for two hours, approximately 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Note that the wall has a cherry red glow as removed from the furnace. 
Now it must withstand the shock of a cold fire hose stream for a period of two and a half minutes. If it holds up to this, it will be classified as a two-hour fire rating. Note that the plaster around the frame that is put up there for strictly for the test. Note that the plaster around the frame crumbles, but the ICMU withstands the assault. The opposite side of this wall held up very well also, and the wall passed its test with flying colors. <laughs> 